Well, the driving force um, has got to be just the how simple we've been able to make our product. Um, when you invert something and you're kind of defying gravity and holding a, a baseball or softball from the top, um, we didn't want to use vacuums, magnets, suction, anything like that. We had to be as simple as we could. So uh, the ability to just use surface tension has uh, been extraordinary. Um, we've been able to lower our cost because of it. And when we take this to uh, new potential customers, they, they, gr they grasp the concept very quickly and uh, makes for a very easy sale. Uh, Thomas Edison believed that innovation begins with a concept that is marketable and makes consumers' lives better. How did your organization go from an idea to a market-ready solution, and were there any changes you might have made along the way looking back? A lot of changes. Um, and we had a pretty easy route for the most part. Um, to, to make something that improves a baseball player's or softball player's um, potential is something that you really can't put a price on. Um, every parent out there that has a kid that plays wants to know can they get their, their child the edge? And we provide that by, by showing them the only part of the ball they need to hit to actually have line drives. And every coach out there uh, in the world will tell you they want players to hit line drives consistently. So going back, I, I probably would have um, done a little more research in the, the rubber side of things. That's something that we've had to learn um, a little bit of the hard way. Um, quality of rubber, quality control, once you uh, decide on which direction to go with which you know, engineering company or which rubber supply company. And once we got that locked down, everything's been very smooth. Um, but that's a world we didn't know anything about. So we kind of dove into the sharks there and uh, had to swim our way around, but uh, we're right where we need to be. Uh, what is the most important lesson you've learned from pursuing new frontiers and how do you pass this on to others? Oh man, open-minded. Um, when someone has a new idea or, or any new thought process, um, if you're, if you're closed-minded to it right off the bat, you're never going to give the, the idea a chance. You may not agree with the idea at all. And that's something that I've, I've, I've gone to colleges and, and other schools and, and spoke about this. Um, you have to absorb what knowledge is coming to you before you can even have a chance to filter out what you even like or dislike from it. And you may not like everything that, that every person or every product has to offer, but there might be part of it that you do like and something that you can take advantage of and go with. Uh, what is the vision for Backspin T in the future and can you share anything that you're working on? Yes. Uh, our vision is to uh, be the most popular batting tee in the world. Um, there's over 17 million ball players in the U.S. alone, uh, growing exponentially in Australia and Japan and China. And um, we have the best tee in the market in our opinion. But we don't think we're just a tee. We're, we're such an innovative new design that something that hasn't been changed in a hundred years, the conventional tea, we've been able to literally turn upside down because that's the way we believe it should have been made the first time. And so, yes, we are a tea company, but we have such a, a, a training aid um, advantage that uh, it allows us to, to, to grow into new products. Um, we are working on a few new designs. Um, obviously, we have a, our main tea that can hold a baseball or a softball cone, but we have a few other ideas that might be able to uh, put two tees together at once so multiple players can use the tee at once instead of just one person at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, who has inspired you to help build the future and what have you learned from them? Uh, his name would be Jeff Horton. He's actually uh, one of our investors and partners in the company. Um, he owns uh, a camshaft company where they use uh, the, the CNC machines and it's a big giant company that, that brings in millions of dollars every year and he is so humble so down to earth that when he talks to me, he makes me feel like, like I'm running his company almost. Um, he listens to everything I have to say, back to that open mind in this thing again, and he, he never puts himself in a position that he can't apply his, his circumstances and experiences with what we're going through, no matter how young uh, we are in this, uh, in this new company. And finally, the Edison Awards recognizes the most innovative products, services, and teams from around the world and across all markets. What does winning an Edison Award mean to you and to Baxman T? It means that we were uh, the most innovative in our, in our, not only in our industry, but specifically in the product field that gets used most often. To take a product that is already popular, already selling tens of millions of dollars a year uh, around the world, we <laughs> absolutely um, were the disruptor. We got in there and we we're going to disrupt the market of what people think a T should be. It's no longer a cheap piece of equipment that uh, is going to break on you within a month or two. We have the training aid that you need.